air signs Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what's what's keeping you from moving on from this person. Okay, so why is it that you can't easily move on from this person? What's holding you back? What's stopping you from doing so? This is going to be a general reading and there's also going to be part two to this reading. In part two of this reading, we are going to explore whether or not you will hear from this person or whether or not you might have a chance to revisit things with this person, go back to maybe the way things once were or to just even reconnect and just see where it might go from there. Um, part two will be made available to you via the extension link below, which will be listed in the description box just below this video here. If you're interested in a personalized reading with myself, my email address will also be listed in that section below. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and take a look and see what is it that's stopping you from moving on, okay? What's making moving on so hard to do from this person? just flying out and you've come up as a nine of swords okay they're definitely taking away your peace of mind Something happened in September, October, or something will be happening in September, October. So, in the upcoming months, I know that's quite some time from now. Okay, so the Two of Cups tells me that you have quite, okay, that's not straight, that's going to bother me. Okay, that's better. So the Two of Cups tells us that you feel very strongly for this person, okay? In fact, I feel like there's such a strong emotional bond that you've developed with this person. There's such an emotional closeness with this person. Okay, the two of you may have started out as friends or you have developed a very strong friend, like a very strong friendship. So not only is this person a lover, but it's also a best friend here. Notice how the two lovers come together and their emotions here are intertwined with each other. And each of them have such a profound effect on each other. So this person has clearly um, impacted your life in a very big, profound way, but you've done the same for them. So just as much they've, as they've had such a big impact and made such a big splash in your life, you've also done the same guys here. And the two of you have become a pair. It's almost like the two of you were at some point in your lives inseparable, joined at the hips, doing everything together. And you might have even moved in and lived with this person together. And as a result, there was just such a closeness that the two of you have developed with each other here. It's hard to it's hard to just detach from that, isn't it? It's hard to just forget about that, you know, that love and that friendship and just how that soul connection, the two of you connected not only on a physical level, but an emotional, mental, physical, spiritual. It's such and the two of cups definitely tells me that maybe it was the beginning of a partnership for some of you, but there was such at one point in time there was such a harmony, such a harmonious balance that existed between the two of you where you encouraged each other to do your best okay and you brought out the best in them and they brought out the best in you so 
very close connection here so what's what's making it so hard for you to move on it's because of those feelings that you've developed and perhaps even early on in the connection that closeness that you've developed all the memories that you've shared and created with one another the fact that this person was as i've mentioned not only your lover but as a best friend you could just go to them and openly share you've actually shared a lot of yourself with this person a lot of things that you perhaps haven't told to a lot of people and there was such an emotional support you are having a hard time balancing your feelings right now i i feel okay you're having a hard time controlling um, you know, this pool of emotions here. You do have that emotional maturity and stability to navigate this difficult emotional territory, but you're having a hard time letting go of them. You are an air energy and you've come up as the only um, air sign card in the spread as a nine of swords here. And the nine of swords here is... Um, there's a woman, I think it's a woman. It looks like a woman, or is it a man? But there's obviously... A, well, it's not obvious... There is a figure, okay, who is sitting up in bed and there's clearly dark thoughts, disturbing feelings that are keeping this person up at night, okay, that are weighing down. And due to the multitude and the repetition of the swords here, it's like you keep reliving maybe um, things that, like the memories that you've created with, the, with each other, the things that you have said or the things that they have said here. There's such an inner turmoil, there's such an anxiety, worry, feeds, depression, it's nightmares. It's, it's like a really heavy energy here, okay? And it represents, it's hard for you to move on from someone when you keep thinking about them, when they keep dominating such a big part of your mental space. You are an air energy and you, pro, you are prone to think and overthink and analyze and overanalyze you know it's just this natural inclination of yours and you know people might tell you oh you're overthinking things and um and you might be very well aware of that but there is no on and off switch you just cannot steal your mind um and i can see that this person he definitely has dominated a lot of your mind and your thoughts here you also feel like it's purposeless. It's like you try not to think about them, okay? But your thoughts keep circling back to them. And you feel like, oh, what's the, you know, what's the use? I'm not even going to fight it anymore. Um, in that instance, like, it's okay. It's okay to still have feelings for someone. And it's okay to still be thinking about them. Um, acknowledge, you know, do not suppress your thoughts and do not suppress your feelings. If you keep thinking about them, acknowledge that you are thinking about them, okay? And try and redirect and, like, redirect or reframe your thoughts around this person here. Because I can see that these thoughts, these ongoing and repetition thoughts are what's defeating you, okay? The fact that you keep thinking about what was said or perhaps the, the, the fact that you keep thinking about, you know... Um, all the visions and the expectations and the things that could have been with between you and this person that's what's making it really difficult for you to clear your mind for you to move on from this person now the ten of uh, wands this is interesting you're clearly feeling overloaded here overloaded with your thoughts your feelings and it's clearly impacting you in a physical way it's physically weighing you down okay all your thoughts, the overthinking, all of the emotions, your energy feels really overloaded. Try and share with someone, try and share this burden with someone. Um, you know, there are people around you, there are connecting energies around who, who absolutely love and support you. So try and just, you know, bounce some of that off to them, okay? Because I feel like there's just such an energy of weighing you down. And that's what's really making it hard for you to move on from this person. It's because I feel like there's still so much pain attached to this person, to their energy and to this connection. There's still so much hurt that you haven't worked through. And I feel like you're just having a really hard time understanding, you know, why all of this happened the way it happened. As I've mentioned, you guys are... Um, air signs and you're governed by mental energy the suit of swords is governed by mental energy right and you guys need to you have a hard time sometimes feeling your emotions um, you guys are very big on trying to understand like intellectualize your emotions and you know the, the thought process behind that so you're only driving yourself crazy here allow yourself to feel the hurt to feel the pain um, 
and obvious and yeah just try not overload yourself because that's I feel like you're also putting too much pressure on yourself you feel as though by now you should have moved on from them or you should have released the energy or you should you know you're being silly or something like that or you know you're, you're you shouldn't be caught up on them any longer that's just overloading yourself even more please don't do that um, obviously there's such an intense connection um, a very close emotional bond and closeness a lot of attraction you guys are very attracted to each other but it's not just like a sexual ke chemistry yes the sexual energy is there it's present but you guys are attracted to each other inside out it feels like it's a soul connection okay it feels like this person is um, on your vibrational alignment and you guys just get each other this person just gets you they understand all your quirks you've got these inside jokes going on I mean there's just such an insane closeness I don't think you've ever felt this way about someone before I don't think this person has felt um, about has felt uh, this way about anyone else before the lovers card does tell me that there's such an attraction such a connection here obviously the two of you have such flames of passion and desire burning brightly here I do feel like there is some sort of message. I don't know if you're the one that's hoping to um, hear from this person still. I don't know if you're trying to, you know, hold on to expectation. Or there may be a promise or expectation for this connection. But it feels like you're holding on to something. I'm also seeing that you may have some valuables or like some gifts that this person has gifted you with. And um, you cherish those. It's become very sentimental to you. And... It does make, I mean, it, it serves a constant reminder, right, of this person and what the two of you had, which probably is also making moving on a little bit harder. I'm not saying get rid of it, but I'm just saying all those things are adding, you know, to all of these emotions that are already um, going on inside of you here. There is a lot of disagreement. There's a lot of conflict that I'm seeing. Maybe the two of you fought a, a lot. Maybe the two of you disagreed and didn't always see eye to eye on a lot of things. And maybe look that added to, um, you know, maybe that was a big part or a part of the reason as to why it didn't necessarily work out between the two of you. But I'm also seeing it's like you're at war with your head and your heart. It's like your head is telling you, you know, the logical thing to do, which is cut ties and move on because maybe for whatever reason it could be for a multitude of reasons but your heart is saying you're still in it that you're still in love with this person or that you still have feelings for this person so there's this war raging on and um you know it's this emotional pull and this emotional tug of war that you're engaged in and that's what's really making it hard because you are an air energy, okay, you do like to intellectualize your feelings, but then again, you've never felt this way about someone before, and this feeling, this wonderful feeling, this, you know, euphoric feeling, you want to hold on to. Alrighty, guys, in part two, I am going to explore whether or not you will get a chance to revisit this connection, whether you will hear from them, or what exactly might transpire between you and this person from here on inwards. Do they think of you? Do they want to reach out? Do they want to connect? So again, part two will be made available to you via the extension link below. For those of you interested in a reading, my email address is also listed below. Thanks, guys, for your time, your energy, your attention. Um, please show your support by liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing. Bye for now.